Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can easily play DVDs on your Windows 10 laptop or desktop for free. So you've recently upgraded to Windows 10 or you've gone out and you bought a Windows 10 device and you're surprised to find out that when you put in your DVD into it, it doesn't play it automatically like it used to before on Windows. It brings you to the Windows Store and it tries to sell you a DVD player. Well you don't have to do that, you can download one for free and it works really well. The one we're going to be downloading is called VLC but you can't do it via the Windows Store, you have to go via your web browser, so for example Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge and download it via there. On the Windows Store when you download VLC it isn't the desktop version, so it can't play DVDs. And I think they might have done that on purpose to push you towards their own product, which is a chargeable product. But the VLC product works really well. It's been downloaded thousands upon thousands of times, and most people are very happy with it. So let me show you how to do that. Now, on this particular laptop here, it doesn't have a DVD drive built into it because it's so small, it's a little GPD pocket. So I've got an external one here, but obviously on your desktop, you're gonna have a DVD drive on it, and also your laptop, most of them will have a DVD drive on it as well. So ignore the fact that this is external, it's the same principle whether it's built in or not. All we need to do is go to your internet browser, so I'm gonna go to Microsoft Edge, but it doesn't matter which one you go to, and I'm gonna go to Google, and I'm going to type in VLC, VLC, and then already there you see it brings up VLC player or download or player download. So let's just go to VLC player, it's all going to bring you to their website anyway, and I'm just going to go to that top one there that says official download of VLC media player, the best open source player. So let's go up to there and left click, and this is the page here, Video LAN. So what we want to do is, this is a Windows 10 device, that's what the video is about, so I want to download the Windows 10 version. So if we go to download VLC and there's a little check down menu to the right hand side here, I'm going to left click on that and I'm just going to click on Windows. And now it says thanks, the download will start in a few seconds. Now from memory it's about 123 megabytes, so it's a small file, it's not going to take up much room. Right, what do you want to do with it? Well I want to save it, so I'm going to go to save. And it says here, there you go, this is in real time, 95% is downloaded already. This is version 2.2.6. Obviously, depending on when you watch this video, you might have a later version. So now I'm going to go to Open Folder. And I can see that it's down here. I'm going to left click on it. The reason I've got two there is because I've already had one and I just deleted it for the purpose of this video. Right, so do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? So I'm going to click yes. And it says here, please wait while setup is loading. Unpacking data and it's just whizzing up there. It doesn't take long at all. And it says here, please select a language. So I'm going to pick English. I'm going to click next for the setup wizard. I'm going to click next for the license agreement. Now it says here for components that I want to be installed. Well what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck web plugins because I don't want these ActiveX and stuff plugins here. So I'm going to uncheck that one there and then I'm going to go to next. And it's asking me where I want it. And I'm going to click install. And now that's just whizzing along there. I will speed up this bit of the video, but it doesn't take long. Let's see, completing the VLC Media Player Setup Wizard. So I'm going to click Finish. And it's asking what it will allow them to do. Well, I'm going to uncheck both of them, but that's up to you. That's your choice, so read that and decide for yourself. But I'm going to uncheck that and uncheck that, and then I'm going to go to Continue. And then you'll recognize it because it's got the traffic cone there. Right, okay, so what I'm going to now do is I'm going to get the Simpsons movie and I'm going to plug it into my DVD player. And then what I'll do is when I get it working on here, I'll then get it working on the bigger monitor behind it just to make it easier to watch. So I'll let that whir away for a while and load up.
and there we go there it is there so what I can do is I can make the screen big by clicking on this icon down here see there toggle the video in full screen so I can click on that and now it's in full screen so what we'll do is let's plug it in to the monitor up here so I'm just using in this instance a micro HDMI to a, a full size HDMI so hopefully now it will come up on the big screen and now we've got it up here let me fast forward to the middle of the movie there we go and that's it up there and if I put the volume up you can see that the volume or you can hear that the volumes coming through the monitor up there if the volumes not coming through your monitor or your TV what you can do is get out of the full screen just gonna put it on pause a minute and then if you click on your speaker symbol here then you can change between for example if I put it on that one there it's gonna come out of the little laptop at the bottom and if I put it on the other one it's gonna come out of the monitor up there so that's how you do it right now let's close it down completely and take the disc out and I'll just show you it working on another one now so right now I've got VLC closed I'll close everything so pretend now we've just turned on our laptop we're going to be greeted with the normal window screen there let's try this one here and when you put it in it should load up VLC automatically without you doing anything so you can hear it now there you go it's brought up VLC and here we go Muppets from Space and again you can make it big screen like that and then do your scene selection, play movie. I was making like a bed, bed dog. There you okay. go. Uh, so, yep, yeah. research. Medical research. And the quality's nice, the picture's nice, everything's perfect with it. So there's no need to pay for it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe for more how to videos. Take care, bye now.